All right, let's talk about the rocket launcher in Bioshock Infinite. So the rocket launcher, uh, otherwise known as the RPG, is a high burst damage weapon that can deal like 1500 to 1750 damage on hits. It can kill groups of enemies quite easily, however the ammo capacity for the weapon is quite low, so one of the big downsides of this weapon is that ammo is both expensive, uh, rare, and you can't have that much of it. The big upside of this weapon is the fact that you can just delete a group of enemies in a single use if they're all like kind of near each other. Uh, and like big fights like this one, I just beat this, um, like I just did this fight. Uh, there's enemies spread out like everywhere, there's these like massive turrets, there's a bunch of machines everywhere. Uh, the weapon kind of suffers because, uh, you know, the low ammo capacity means you can't use it that much. So you have to make every single shot count. And when pairing that with like a sniper rifle, for example, which already has issues of... Um, like sustainability for long-term fights it kind of suffers so like it's a power weapon that I don't really feel you can pair with too much because you just run out of ammo too quickly but the damage is good and the use case is kind of just killing things with AoE uh, however uh, if you just use Devil's Kiss upgraded with both upgrades it deals insane amounts of damage and can take this weapon's place and also note both this weapon and Devil's Kiss are terrible against firemen so I actually do not recommend you invest in this um, the upgrades for it are two fifty or twenty five percent damage increase upgrades, a clip increase of fifty percent, and a speed increase. So the weapon fires a projectile that is not affected by your movement, so it'll fly straight from wherever you fire it. You can kind of get a feel for the speed here. I think the baseline speed is fine. I just think the problem with this weapon is uh, against like larger opponents and against like you know in big open fights which is most of the game to be honest like there's like a, f a handful of fights that are you know small they're, they're, they're you know most of the fights are like large open scale fights uh the weapon is good but in like in small fights it's good in large ones it's bad uh y if you can pick it up and you want to just blow through the ammo you have just to like deal with some enemies that's probably the best use for it uh basically what you want to do Go ahead. is pick it up, use it temporarily, and then drop it, kind of like the, with the crank gun. It's the exact same strategy you'd use with the crank gun. Uh, the reason for that is to hold on to it is generally not a good idea, and it's usually in big fights somewhere, like off to the side, or you can summon it in with the tear. So I don't recommend investing in it personally. Uh, you're better off running the, uh, the volley gun. The volley gun can interrupt up to a motorized Patriot, so I actually recommend running this. It has better ammo capacity. Uh, overall, it has more damage stored through its ammo. If you land every shot, it has more more ammo and more damage uh, as a result because it actually does do good damage. Uh, you can use something like Bucking Bronco with this or um, Devil's Kiss. So if you want to delete a group of enemies nearby, just that combo will kill them for the most part. Uh, it also interrupts in a radius, so every time you shoot most enemies, aside from uh, handymen, I believe, it will interrupt them. So, I'll test this against handymen to see if it interrupts them. If it does, this weapon's like insane, but it interrupts foes, it hits AoE. It's basically what the RPG wants to be. It's better as a secondary to like complement like a sniper rifle or a hand cannon build. So, yeah, the RPG's decent, but... In, in big open fights when enemies are kind of spaced out, it really suffers uh, because then you're just using an RPG on like single enemies, which is not really ideal. Uh, but it does have some instances where it can be used. So I just I just don't recommend investing in it. It just it, there's just too much there's too much overhead. It's just, I don't think it's worth it. But I would just run the volley the volley gun or the hailfire, both of which are pretty similar. But yeah, that's it for my RPG guide. Uh, you can run it, but the ammo reserve is pretty low, so you have to run it as a secondary weapon. So just keep that in mind. And also, if you just want like raw damage output, there's better things for just damage output, like the volley gun and hailfire. So yeah, thanks for checking this out, and I'll see you in the next one.